Welcome to the Mormon Battalion. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the Mormon Battalion. <laughs> We're so glad you came back. <laughs> yeah. But, so as we said, the story of these 500 soldiers, pretty amazing. There are 80 women and children that came with them, and their faith was really the thing that helped them through this really long, difficult journey. Uh -huh. Because Captain, or, Captain Allen, he came in 1846 and asked these men to enlist in the U.S. Army. And at first they were a little hesitant because they were just regular people and they weren't looking to become heroes or even soldiers. But because of that faith they had in Christ, they, they were willing to enlist. So we'll see really how that faith helped them and really changed their life as we go through this story. You can see that through the difficult times as they relied on Christ, they made it through. So hard. Yeah, so we're just going to travel back in time to 1846 with them and go on the journey with them. And it's interesting, you can see there were some women and children who came along too. So, oh. Bless you. What? Excuse me. On the road to California, blistered foot we make our way. We'd soak them in the clear blue ocean and throw their boots away. Ibram, we just barely got started. Sister uh, Livingston was talking. Sorry, folks. <laughs> It's that song of Zemiris. Shh. It's just stuck in my head. <laughs> Soldiers, pictures don't talk. Or sing. Or shout. <laughs> or sneeze. <laughs> Captain. I'm sorry, Colonel. It's all these people. They're stirring up dust. Who's <laughs> everyone <laughs> calm down? We're making our guests uncomfortable. Look. Oh, I got a bunch of long tail cats in a room full of rocking chairs. Now they won't be able to concentrate. Concentrate on what? Well, our story. Mormon battalion, U.S. Army of the West. Not much of an army, if you ask me. But well, nobody did ask you. Yeah. <laughs> We told our story. Oh. Certainly qualified. Well, it, it, it is our story. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great idea. <laughs> great idea. <laughs> Thank you. Samira Palmer. <clears throat> yes, sir. Since you are the only one in this room wise enough to keep quiet, would you do the honors? I love the way you tell me. Of course, sir. Yeah. Tell it well. Since they know we're here anyway, why don't we make ourselves comfortable for the story? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Wait, wait, Captain, where are you going? I thought I'm gonna Could tell, tell us the story. story? Yeah. Well, should we follow them? Shall we? We're gonna head back in time to 1846. set out to join the U.S. Army. We were in Nauvoo, we Illinois. The Mormon people settled there after fleeing mobs and persecution in Ohio and Missouri. Here we built homes, mills, and stores. We farmed the land and raised cattle. We built a temple. For a time, we lived in peace. But our church was growing quickly, and it seemed everywhere we settled, our neighbors became fearful of our growing political and economic power. People who had left the church, rogue groups, and even criminals spread rumors and lies about us. Our neighbors believed what they heard and took the law into their own hands. In an attempt to put an end to our church, a violent mob murdered our leader and prophet, Joseph Smith, and his brother Hyman. We once again left our homes behind to find a place where we can live in peace and worship God. Led by Brigham Young, we set up temporary camps throughout southwestern Iowa while we determined where we could settle. We believed the Lord would provide a new home for us out west, but we had very little means for the thousands of saints to make the journey. Despite the difficult circumstances, we chose to be happy. I was only 17. I'm big for my age. Thank you. 